August covering the town. And nothing. Just the emptiness. Interesting. Oh, anime. Cicada. With a boot. Wait, someone's dead? What? That's not possible. You can hear sirens in the distance. Did something happen? <coughs> Cell phone is ringing. It's from Chie. I agree. No, we were right. I'm sure that we rescued Rise. Yes, it would be best if it hurt. Yes. Okay, something is wrong. Something is... What the hell? But how? Did they just murder them in the real life? Because it wasn't... Over here. It wasn't in the TV world that they murdered whoever. Like, I don't even know who died. Something is wrong. Yosuke went over to check out the scene. He should be back soon. Fair enough. Oh, there he is. Yeah, it was murder, all right. The body was hanging upside down on an apartment's rooftop railing. It's not the same as the last ones. The last ones were on the, uh, like the phone lines. But how could that... That's not all. The victim this time... It was King Moron. No. No, you're lying. No. I... Okay, I am actually in shock from that. That's not real. No, there's no way. I don't... No, I mean, he's crazy, sure, but like... What? No, this... This doesn't make sense. Like, he was... No! What? No! I... You mean that King Moron? Senpai's homeroom teacher? Yeah. W why? What on earth is going on here? How am I supposed to know? But I talked to a guy there who saw it. It's true. There's no mistake. You gotta be shitting me. Ain't the killer targeting people who get shown on TV? Yeah, and he wasn't on TV. I ain't never seen King Moron on the Midnight Channel or any other programs. Okay, minor theory positing, because this is all I got right now. <laughs> this completely breaks the mold, but... <sighs> so I've been saving everyone that has been on the Midnight Channel. So clearly this person, whoever they are, has been frustrated that everyone is being saved. So, they have to take means into their own hands i guess maybe this maybe they killed the teacher king moron like just outright in the real world because they were found on a different location but still in a similar fashion so they wanted to keep it similar but i don't know that's the best i got because this is this is rough why why did this happen we finally figured some things out. Were they all just a big coincidence? Apparently. Every single thing that we have said so far has been a dead end. It's not that they're all women, because Kanji broke that mold. It's not that they were all tied to the first case, because I, I think it was Kanji, again, broke that mold. And not to mention, anyways, this has broken the mold even further. He's a man who had nothing to do with it, wasn't on TV. Like, 
I don't get it. I don't. Maybe the Midnight Channel doesn't have anything to do with this. <sighs> Maybe. Damn it! We came so far and now we're back to square one! Were we in over our heads, trying to catch a culprit that even the police couldn't find? No! We're not. This is the right way to go about it, but something is wrong. Something is... we're missing something. It, it's too early to give up. Damn straight. We started this thing because the police can't tell their asses from their elbows. Exactly. We give up now, and that shithead's gonna be on the loose forever. This ain't the time for bitching and moaning. We just gotta keep on keeping on. Kanji kun. He's right. Huh. Big talk from someone like you, Kanji. What what's that supposed to mean? What do you mean, Yosuke Khan? I know. We're dealing with a murderer here, but we've all risked our lives to get this far. No way we'll back down. And we promised the bear, too. Hey, that's right. Maybe Teddy knows something about this. He, he needed time, though. Well, since moping around won't do us any good, let's go see him. All right, let's see him. We needed time to heal, though, after we fought him. Oh, can we not get in? Huh? There's staff here? People work here? Now that's unusual. Hi there. Did something happen? Ah, Yosuke-kun. Great timing. Did the manager tell you anything about this? Hmm. There's been this weird mascot around our department for quite a while now. <gasps> oh my gosh. Is it Teddy? Is there some kind of campaign on today? Did Teddy come out into our world? Mascot? He said his name was, uh, what was it? <laughs> Terry? Eddie? Teddy! Well, there are no customers around, so I guess it's fine. I better get back to my station. So Teddy came to our world. Is he around here? Where is he? Please don't tell me. He's here somewhere. Whoa! He's here! There he is. Go on. Show him. Uh, <laughs> this really hits the spot. <laughs> Come on. What the? I mean, how'd you... It took you guys long enough. I've been waiting. Oh, come on. Teddy, are you okay on this side? <laughs> How did you even leave your side? Yeah, seriously. I thought you couldn't. Of course I can come out. There's an exit. Yeah, but you... It just never occurred to me to do it before. Teddy, you have issues. But spending time with you all sparked my curiosity about this world. I did wonder if it was a good idea. But my feet started moving before I could decide. And when I thought about it, I had nowhere to go. And it was a waste to go back. So I waited here for you. Yo, know that's fair enough. Oh, someone asked for my name. So I told them, I'm Teddy. <laughs> so that's why. Oh, yeah, there's something we need to ask you. Yeah, we're having a bit of a trouble right now. How long have you been here, Teddy? Did anyone enter the other world? I stayed until the fog settled in on my side, but no one came. So someone straight up murdered someone in the real world. You're positive. You really didn't sense a single person. I just said that I didn't. I was there all by myself, like always. <laughs> Indeed. And your nose wasn't clogged or anything? Aren't you listening? I was utterly, totally, and 100% alone! That's why I came over here! Sorry, Teddy. But I can understand if you don't believe me. My senses aren't that good lately anyways. I believe you. Oh, Sensei's heart is radiating pure kindness. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> well, it's true that the Midnight Channel was blank last night. Yes, I know. We succeeded, but someone still died. And apparently, it was King Moron. Like, he must have been murdered in the real world. I don't, I don't know how that's possible. But we're going to figure it out. And even before that, Teddy says he didn't sense anything, right? Does that mean King Moron was never on that side? No, he wasn't. Uh, 
What's going on? Hey, hey, I want to go somewhere. Huh? Now ain't the time, dude. You seriously don't plan on going back, do you? Do you want to come somewhere on this side, Teddy? Where do you want to go, anyway? I want to give this to Risei-chan. It's for her. Uh-oh. Oh, Risei's glasses. Risei-chan will probably back us up from now on. Oh, I'm sure she will. So I'm going to fight alongside you with everything I got. Wait, is Teddy going to be an actual member now? Don't think of me as the same cute little Teddy. Okay. I'm an all new model. I have a powerful attack, an unbeatable defense, and a winning smile. Will you be as good as the boss that you were? Today begins the new legend of Teddy. So we're getting two members uh, with this past palace? Wow. Or dungeon? A new legend. Teddy has joined the group as a frontline fighter. Will definitely be a strong asset. Oh, what do you got? Rank 5 investigation team. I'll take it. Uh, your power to create fool has gone up. Nice. Oh, people are starting to stare. Keep it down, will you, Ted? Come on, let's go somewhere else. <laughs> Emmy is a mascot, you know? Like, let, let him be what he wants to be. Okay. Just to make sure, I'm going to ask you one last time. Nobody was over there except for you until the fog came back, correct? That's what I've been saying. All right. So, what, it, what we're saying is someone on this side straight up murdered someone on this side. Which is super dark. He didn't show up on the Midnight Channel either. What's up with that? No clue. But I think we can be sure now that King Moron was never thrown into the TV. Yeah, which means this person, whoever is killing everybody, while they prefer to uh, use the method of the TV, doesn't care about the TV. It's just helpful to keep their secrets. Then what? He was killed over here? Why not throw him into a TV like all the rest? Because they already had someone in the TV. It was Risei. But that failed. They couldn't throw him in. They couldn't? Yeah, Risei was already there. They've done it a bunch of times already, but I guess everyone screws up sometimes. That's not what I meant, but... Maybe the culprit thought he couldn't kill any more people by throwing them into TVs. Kind of like that, yeah. I mean, we prevented his last three attempts in a row. Mm-hmm. Oh, I get you. That could be it. See, there you go, Yukiko. So they snuffed someone on our side this time to make sure it worked. Yeah, because they knew, you know, like, st stabbing them or just killing them would just end it. Damn it. If that's true, then we have no way of preventing more murders unless we catch the killer. <laughs> it's tough, that's for sure. We need more clues. I don't. I, I mean, where? Risei Chan's up and around yet. <sighs> yeah. We'll yeah. have to put our hopes on her. Gosh, I hope she can give us something. <sighs> it's so hot out. I'm taking this off. Taking what off, Teddy? Wait, you're not talking about your head, are you? Teddy, you have to stay disguised. Cut it out. There's kids watching. Jeez, they'll be scarred for life if they see an empty mascot walking around. Yeah. Have a little consideration, man. You're an empty shell, a shadow, or something. Like, you've got to stay within your body, at least. I'm glad you're back to normal, though. Your fur's all fuzzy again. It's true. Can I... Can, can I feel it? <laughs> Kanji. No. <laughs> Actually, I'm no longer a hollow bear. <laughs> You're not? I trained and trained, hoping to someday score with Chie Chan and Yuki Chan, and now I finally have an inside. Sorry, you want to repeat? Uh, trying to score with Chie and Yuki? Yeah, good job with that. Oh, come on. 
can't we give it a rest with the whole scoring thing? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Dude, you're hollow. Taking your head off isn't gonna cool you down. But I just told you, I'm not hollow anymore. Okay, so what do you look like inside? <sighs> it's too hot. I can't stand it. Do you look normal or do you look like, oh no, <sighs> anime. <laughs> Uh oh. Oh boy. Whoa. What the? He looks like a. Much better. <laughs> he looks like a person. No fucking way. Oh my gosh. Now that hit the spot. <laughs> I can't. Hey, Chie Chan, Yuki Chan. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> this is too much. This is, oh, this is, this is too much. Oh, I can't. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I can't. What the hell? Oh. Do you have anything to wear? I'm basically like a newborn <laughs> at the moment. Oh. Stop. Teddy? Is that really you? Oh my gosh. You need to stop. Oh my gosh. This is too much. Teddy? This is too much. He said he's not hollow anymore. I'm not ready so for this. Like, he grew himself a body in there? Oh. What kind of creature would do that? I mean, what is he? <sighs> then again, this is hardly the first bizarre thing we've seen. No, but this is still pretty bizarre. Admit, it's probably better than him walking around in his bear suit. Hey, weren't we going to see about talking to Rise? Yes, let's do that. I was so shocked that I lost track of what we were talking about. Let's head over to Rise's place. As for Teddy, he's with the girls, so he should be fine. I... Gosh, I was not expecting that. I went home to change before heading to the shopping district. We're going to go see about Rise. <laughs>